Hey there, everybody. It's Virtuous Sinner back with another one kilobyte roguelike to enjoy today. Up on today's hit list is Zig Climb by Flend. Flend is a name that will pop up again and again. He's made many roguelikes over the years. I think a few seven day roguelikes, as well as just some, um, well, perhaps only for seven day roguelike, but I know he's continued those games outside of that as well. So we will be encountering a lot of his games. Trauma RL, Flatline RL are two of the better known ones. DD Rogue, I think, is one of them. Uh, a lot of very, very popular um, of these of the you know, non-major roguelikes. Um, let's take a look at Zigclimb's story, and then we'll talk a bit about it. Uh, here's the scenario. You listened eagerly to the old man at the fireside as he described the ancient temple and the riches to be found there. His dire warnings about the fate of the others who had tried to plunder the temple and never returned, however, fell on deaf ears. As you entered the base of the ziggurat, the heavy stone door slammed behind you. You grasp your dagger and wooden shield tightly for reassurance. It seems that the only way out is through. Your objective is to ascend the ten levels of the ziggurat, collect as many gems as you can, and then escape. The gems are in the possession of the temple guardians, the letters, who won't give them up without a fight. If you are lucky, you might find weapons, those are brackets, armor, those are percent signs, and health potions, which are the exclamation points, dropped by previous foolish adventurers. Look for the stairs up. To the next level. Um, so, the objective in this game, yeah, climb 10 levels. As far as I can tell, that's your, your your actual objective. When you reach level 10, I guess you win. That seems to be holding true for most of the one kilobyte roguelikes that say, you know, reach a certain level. It is when you reach that level and not when you leave that level. I'm hoping that's the case. Um, we have an interesting phenomenon at work here, and that's this. Um, we mentioned in, a, I think, in the last one kilobyte roguelike we looked at, that was orcs. Uh, that we were seeing again that phenomenon of higher letters equal tougher monsters and wondered what is the etymology of that uh, concept in, in one kilobyte roguelikes. I still do not know an answer to that question. But I do know that that uh, phenomenon is at work here as well in, in Zigclimb. Um, and I also know that um, Flend, who created this game, credits A Journey to Hell as his personal inspiration for this game. Uh, so, in terms of this game in particular, we can say that that, that concept probably derived from A Journey to Hell. Um, I think by Jakob Wasilewski, if I'm rem remembering who made that game correctly. Um, I'm guessing, I, I think there was someone who had made a one half kilobyte rogue like we've talked about, and I think that that person, I, I, this is half speculation, half my memory that always fails me because my brain is barely functional. Um, but uh, my memory that I have is that uh, he may have made the first one kilobyte roguelike, uh, and others sort of followed suit on that. Uh, and if that's the case, that may be the, the actual origin. Maybe he did that in his game, and that's where it came from. But anyways, it's at work here. The higher the letter, the tougher the monster. Now, I do know a few uh, tips and such before we dive in here. There's some in the, in the manual right here. There's a nice little manual that tells you most of how to do stuff. Tips. Stronger temple guardians have letters later in the alphabet, as we just said. The guardians will try to move in a straight line towards you, so exploit the position of walls to slow them down. The guardians are also quite happy to kill each other in order to get to you, which can be helpful. That's awesome, kind of like O-Rats. Uh, if your weapon isn't strong enough, you might not be able to scratch a particular guardian, so fleeing may be the best option, at least until you find a stronger weapon. Now we can see our weapon and armor by looking right here. Um, pardon me, make sure I'm clicked into the right spot. Let me see if my uh, mouse is corresponding. No, it's not. Okay, I'll, I'll play in the uh, I'll play in the OBS Studio window. That way, I can point uh, to what I'm trying to point at. Uh, fuck. How do I do this? <laughs> oh, it's so tricky. Oh my goodness, everything's going crazy here. Batshit crazy on my. Okay, that's there. Let me move this window over. Oh, you son of a bitch. Sorry, you can't see the chaos that is ensuing on my screen as I try to move things around. All right, this should be. This should be okay. Okay. I'm pointing where I want to point now. I'm pointing at the at sign. Oh, it's actually... It actually does correspond. <laughs> so that was unnecessary. Okay, back to the game. Um, this is your weapons and armor. We have we start the game with our dagger and wooden shield, as I mentioned. That gives us one weapon and one armor point. Um, I, y you'd be left to guesswork as to how, you know, how much damage your weapons does, how much protection you have. Um, fortunately, another gentleman, um, Alan, who runs the Indie, Indie Ocean, um, YouTube channel, has done a Let's Play on Zigclimb before, and Flend chimed in with some uh, feedback for him. 
So I was able to learn a bit. Uh, and one thing he said was you don't want to take on, on average, you don't want to take on a monster that is more than four levels higher than your weapon. Uh, so with this, we could take on, what is that? Uh, a is one. A, B, C, D, E. So E's are about the highest we can go with our weapon. I don't know for sure what that means. I've seen, in watching Alan play, uh, I'd seen him uh, hit monsters. And when I played myself, I've, see, I've seen it hit monsters where... Uh, Sometimes it kills them, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so I'm guessing there's a random variable at work here. I'm guessing it's not straight up with weapon one, we can just kill an E1 shot. Maybe we can. Maybe I'm misremembering how it worked. But I'm thinking maybe it's like we do one plus one to four damage. And maybe if we had maybe if we had weapon ten, we'd do ten plus one to four damage, I'm guessing. Um, and perhaps the letters work the same way, and the higher your armor, the more you lower their uh, incoming damage. There is a bit of mystery at work, even with Flynn's advice, there is still some mystery at work as to the actual mechanics of the game, and I think those mechanics would be would be helpful. That's just me, I, I like to know uh, exactly what's going on. A journey to Hell was very straightforward, you could do the math and calculate, am I going to live or die? I don't necessarily always like chess-like things, I don't mind uh, randomization, but I still like to know the parameters of that randomization when I can. But at least we have a little bit of a tip from Flend himself. This is your score. Uh, you grab gems. Every time you grab a gem, you get one more point. Um, this is the level we're on. We're on level 0. we got to get to level 10 of the ziggurat. And this is our health, our hit points. When these reach 0, we're dead. It appears you have max hit points 10. You can't get above that. This here is a health potion. So we know we can get that when we need it. We don't need it yet. So let's start wandering around. We have our, uh, <clears throat> our numpad for the cardinal directions. There's a G. So for instance, we cannot take that on. As far as I understand the mechanics of the game... We can't hurt that. Let's try and grab this armor. You'll also see, I don't know if you noticed, I moved a little quickly there. There was a phantom G here for a second. Um, monsters do leave a, uh, a memory behind. For instance, this is the G. I think this is the G that we first saw, and our sight range is not allowing us to see that square anymore, so we, we are aware that there was a G there, and therefore there may still be a G there, but there's not. I think it's this G. If you saw, there was a phantom one up there for a second. Let's grab this armor. And we have now Weapon 1, Armor 5. Uh, from what I've seen, it functions the same as a, another visit in Hell, in the sense that when you grab weapons or armor, you have no choice to say, do I want this or not? Of course, it's a one kilobyte roguelike. There's only so much code you can fit in there. You can't fit in a check to say, here's what you're going to get. Do you want it? Um, or even a check to say, this is better or worse than what you have. Do you want it? Um, so you are taking a bit of a gamble. If we stepped on another armor piece, it could be less than five. And if it was, we would have less than five. So we now have five armor one attack. I don't think we can hurt that G in any fashion. Um, let's grab this weapon. Alright, we have weapon 4, armor 5. I think we theoretically could kill the G now, right? Uh, if at 1 we could hit an E, then it, yeah, we can hit it. We can kill the G in theory. Uh, you also see he stopped. Uh, they Like in a lot of uh, one kilobyte roguelikes, they can't cross certain squares. He can't cross that potion. They can't cross gems either if you kill them. I'm going to try to kill him. Perhaps I shouldn't. Perhaps that's silly. There, he's dead. Okay, we got one point. I'm not going to grab that health potion yet because I'm going to keep exploring the level. Is there a reason to? Oh, I guess I got I got to find the freaking stairs, don't I? Uses some sort of cellular automata to uh, create the levels. I'm not going to fight monsters unless I have to. Well, I, I guess I can get one point from a, an A. Why not get the score? It's not like he's going to hurt us. Boom. Dead. And as you can see, I thought there were two A's there, but it's because you have the memory of where a monster was. And sometimes it can leave you to... Uh, you can panic if you see a lot of monsters coming at you, and it's not actually a lot of monsters. It's just... Uh, there's the exit. All right, let's grab that health potion before we leave. That was a pretty easy basic level. We had G and, a G and an A. It wasn't as populous as I thought it would be. Potion! Let's head to level one with our score of two. You can see down here as well the... Uh, persistent memory of what, what key you last pressed. A lot of roguelikes do that as well. A lot of one kilobyte roguelikes. Not sure what the purpose of that is. Maybe just to make sure you understand there is an input being inserted. We can kill an E. Let's try and hit it. Alright. Maybe we can one-shot them. Maybe it is. Maybe it is directly that we can kill now. If, if that's the case, let's do the math as we go. If one allows you to kill an E, then two allows you to kill an F, three allows you to kill a G. We, if that's the case, we can kill up to, up to H's right now. He can't cross that... Uh, that uh, gem, but what do we care? Let's move southwest and kill him. There. Maybe I'll leave those gems in place for the moment, because they are barricades, right? If we needed to, we could hide. We don't need that health potion yet. We can kill a bee, no problem. Dead. So 
So this is a, what, an armor? Let's grab it. All right, better. We have six armor now. You can see the G killed that B. The monsters will kill each other. If, if a monster moves into another monster, it kills it. Perhaps automatically, or perhaps if it's a higher letter. I'm not sure which. This could be a risk. Let's kill the G first. We know we can kill it with our four. So we hit it once, and it didn't die. So there is some sort of random element involved. Mind you, it didn't hurt us either. We got it on the second try. Let's keep our weapon for the moment, just because we know it's generally functional against all the monsters we've seen so far in this level. Alright. Let's grab this weapon. Oh, okay, good. Five and six. They generally get more powerful weapons as you go deeper, but I know for a fact it's not always the case, so you're better off... Uh, um... Being cautious. We don't even need the health potion. Let's grab it anyway to see if we're wrong. No, it doesn't go above 10. So let's get down to level uh, 2. Okay, there is a weapon there. Let's not grab it yet. We don't... We know. Well, okay, let's see. Do we need it? Uh, <laughs> I think we can exactly kill an eye, can't we? Exactly. If we grab that weapon and it lowers our, our weapon at all, then we won't be able to. I don't, I don't think that's two eyes. I think that's one eye and a memory of an eye. An eye spy with my little eye. Um, I think we can kill it. Let's risk it. Let's play a second game. Oh, we can get around it, actually. No, we can't. Well, I know we can kill the G. Oh, unless we can get them, unless we can bait them into killing each other. Here, there's the G dead. There's no experience, so great. He left a gem behind by being killed by that thing. Let's just wait around here for a second, see if we can lure anything else down to let that eye kill it. No? All right. Let's kill that eye. Oh, got it one shot. Grab. Grab. We should be able to kill a C, no problem. Something else killed the C. We should be able to kill an F, no problem. Alright, we can do this. Nice and slow. Slow and easy wins the race. We can kill a G. If we need to. We don't need to yet. There's more armor. Again, we'll grab all this stuff on the way out, because right now we know our weapons and armor are effective against what we're seeing. I don't want to risk losing that when we might need to combat this thing. Like now, okay? Let's grab that gem. All right, that's the level. We're uh, we're, we're kicking a little ass here. I'm gonna let you in on a confession. Um, when I mentioned I played earlier, I lied. I uh, I was watching <laughs> I was watching Alan play on Indie Ocean, uh, his YouTube channel, and uh, I booted up the game, forgetting I hadn't played. My policy is always play the game several times to learn the game. And then I come and present it to you, and I just started recording on my very first try, and then was embarrassed to admit that. But it seems like we've got the hang of this. Um, let's find out what this weapon is. All right, it is a five as well, so we're okay on that front. Let's grab this armor. Oops. It's a seven. Good, we're, we're upgrading. We don't need this health potion, but we'll grab it anyway, just in case one day we find out, oh, hey, look, we have 11 health, but we don't. All right, down to level three. We can kill this F. Oh, fuck, that F's coming towards us. Okay. I think we can kill any of these F's with one shot. So why not clear them out? Okay. We didn't have to worry about them. We should be able to kill an H with relative ease. Okay. Uh, J might be beyond our capabilities. Let's do the math again. At E, we can kill... Uh, one, we can kill an E. So F is 2. G is 3. H is 4, I is 5. We cannot, if Flynn's advice, and he's the one who made the game, so I have no reason to question him, if his advice holds true, we cannot hurt that J, so we want to avoid it until we can grab Frack. I don't see a way out of here without him hitting us, potentially. Our armor might protect us some. We can always go get that health kit afterwards, but uh, we're going to have to go buy him at some point, so let's just start doing so. He killed the E for us. Okay, this should give us the tools we need to kill the J. Let's do the math again to make sure we're right. E is 1, F is 2, G is 3, H is 4, I is 5, J is 6. I'm going to write this down so I don't have to count out loud to you like an idiot every time. All right, so we should be able to theoretically kill this guy. Let's just uh, let's move left and let's kill him. Okay, we got him. Not going to grab that health potion yet because we don't need it yet. All right, let's grab up the gems, get some score happening here. Uh, and 
and said gems as well. Let's grab the health potion. And let's grab the armor and hope that... Uh, ah, I lowered our armor. That's what I'm saying. You never know for sure. We're a little worse off than we were. As a general rule, though, it seems to go up, so you're probably better off grabbing it when you see it. Level 4. We can kill that H. Theoretically, we can kill this H coming, too. Again, theoretically, we got him. Let's leave those in place for now as barriers. We should be able to kill that I. I'm not going to go hide for a moment, because... Uh, after we deal with this J, we can't kill that K yet. We have no way to deal with that K, if, again, if we understand the system correctly. Um, if we go northwest, we are going to summon that K out of its hiding spot, but on the other hand, uh, we can't go southwest, or that J just gets a free shot at us. So I'm going to go up here. Okay, maybe we didn't summon it out. All right, we got the J. We have access to the health potion when we need it. Let's not use it yet. Can't kill that K unless we grab that bit of armor. So let's go... Well, let's deal with the G. Let's grab that score. I'm going to grab this because I need it, or I can't deal with those Ks at all. Let's hope to God it puts us at least seven. Nope, we are worse off than we were. Let's get the frack out of here. Can't even deal with the Js anymore. Let's head... Let's find the stairs. Let's not grab score. Who gives a show? If it's in our way, we will. My intention is to... Let's see if we can get some better armor. Oh! Even worse. My god. Guys. Please tell me the damned. Stairs are over here and not up... Okay, we could be in some trouble, guys. The stairs are going to be either here, past this K, or here, past this K. Either way, we got some special Ks we got to deal with. There's a J up there somewhere, too, as I recall. This is going to suck. Come on, baby. Find me a staircase, thank God. All right, I'm just going to look over here really quickly. Is there anything? Nope. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Seems to me there's only one weapon and one armor per level. we got to grab that. Oh, fuck. Oh, we can't get out here. I was going to go out here. See if we can get something to kill something over there. We can kill the F. Oh, fuck. Like an idiot. All right, I've got to get out of this corner. Let's let the G come down to us. It's not coming down to us. Darn it. Let's go down, then up, and around, kill the G. Oh, it's another G. I thought it was a mirage. We need a health kit. We have enough, theoretically, to kill the J. Let's try it. Combat. Combat. Got him. We need a health kit. Shit. I don't want to deal with him if I don't have to. Pretty sure I can deal with the G, no problem. I shouldn't have grabbed that gem. I should have left it in places like a... Oh, fuck. We can deal with an... Oh, we have L, right? So J was 6. That means KL. We can deal with L's at 8. We can theoretically deal with it, but I doubt we get it in one shot, and that means we'd probably die. Please tell me there's a health kit. Fuck me. If we try and get to the stairs, the J is going to get a shot on us. There's no way to get to the stairs without, without that J hitting me at present that I can see, unless I lure the eye up, and then we then I got to deal with the eye. If I go north for the armor, I got to deal with the K, but I might be able to one shot the K. No, that's even worse than the J, isn't it? I think my only bet, and it's a slim freaking bet, is to head east and see if we can find a potion. All right, uh, I J I is. Is that a is that a is that a sad face? Is it giving me a winking sad face? Is that what that is? <laughs> does, it, does it end the game with an emoji? My hits are zero. I assume I'm dead. I assume when I hit a key, uh, uh, the game will crash. If it, I'm gonna press southeast just in case you can go down to zero. No, you can't. Okay. Um. All right, guys. That was that was Zig Climb. Um. Very actually a very cool game. I liked it a lot. Um. You can definitely see the influence, I guess, of of uh, a visit in hell, or rather, a journey to hell, and, and more more to the point, another visit in hell with the uh, weapons and armor that get randomized like that. Although here it differentiates your weapons and armor. I don't think it. I don't remember it doing that in. Uh, I think you just had weapon or something in uh, 
in another in another visit in hell. Um, slightly different game than that than those games, but a very cool game. I liked it a lot. Um, I think without knowing that information about the uh, don't tackle a monster four levels more than four levels higher than your than your current weapon score. I think without that information, you'd be really hard pressed to uh, to make any headway. But we did all right. I didn't notice what level we got down to, but we did all right. Maybe level four or level five. I didn't see. Um, literally killing everything we met on the way. So what? The, or almost everything. Um, so what the hell? I will include a link to where you can get this game. You should get this game. It's another really good one kilobyte roguelike. I'm really enjoying these games. They're they're simple. They 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 often feel like the the goal is tantalizingly close. It's not like when you sit down to a game of Ang Band for the first time and you're like, son of a bitch, can I can I beat this game if I devote 75 or 100 hours? Uh, here it's like, uh, can I beat this game if I devote you know 45 minutes? Um, and the answer I think is yes if you're careful and cautious and and smarter than I am. Um, so go for it. Let me know if you beat it. it. Looks like a fun fun game. I'm I'm definitely gonna come back to this. This is on my on my playlist up there with another visit in hell. Uh, to tackle again. Okay, that's it for me for the time being, guys. I'm gone for at least a little bit. I've got some uh, work I need to do on a video, a totally unrelated video, work work video, um, that I should do. Give me motivation, God. All right, see ya.